all right so we got some nigerian women's football to talk about in this video updates involving the super falcons the falconists and the flamingos two of these teams have recently announced their squads for upcoming events but before we go into all that though please make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you very much so yeah first we're gonna start with the flamingos and the flamingos are currently in the third round of fifa under 17 women's world cup qualification they beat Central African Republic in the second round. It was 6-0, 6-0. First leg was away in Cameroon. And the second leg played in Abuja, 12-0 on aggregate. And now they know, actually, they knew a little bit earlier than now. But the last time I talked about this team was the game against Central African Republic. And by then, we didn't know. But right now, we know they'll be taking on Burkina Faso in the third round of the qualifiers. Burkina Faso got past. Guinea in the second round first leg was two goals to one in favor of Burkina Faso away from home then in the second leg at home they won that by four goals to one six to one aggregate so the Flamingos will be taking on Burkina Faso in the third round of under 17 women's world cup qualifiers and the first leg will be played on Friday the 10th of May while the second leg will be played on Friday the 17th of May now moving on on. and next we're going to be talking about the falconists and the falconists are going to be participating in the 13th edition of the african games of course the african games was formerly known as the all african games it's going to be held in ghana this year from the 8th of march to the 23rd of march so that's gonna be a big time competition right there. Now football at the African Games will be played at the under 20 level. So you got the Falconists representing on the women's side. Then you get the Flying Eagles representing on the men's side. Now with the Falconists, they're gonna be grouped alongside Morocco, Senegal, and Cameroon. Honestly don't have any detail about the schedule or what it's gonna look like but I will definitely let you guys know when I find something about that out. But you got the players selected to the squad. Head coach of the side, Chris Donjama selected 23 players, four goalkeepers, seven defenders, six midfielders, and six forwards. Now, honestly, I don't know if all those players are gonna be going into the African games because on the other side, you got the Flying Eagles coach, Ladon Bosso. He invited 30 players into camp. So I definitely know 30 players are not going to the tournament, but 23, I don't know. Either way it goes, like I said previously, more information, we're gonna try to get that to you. But the information I saw in the report was that the players were to report to camp yesterday. That was Thursday, the 15th of February, of course. Now, speaking of the players invited, you got most of the regular faces, especially the players who have been part of these last qualification matches. I mean, if we're talking about new players, you got Linda Jiwaku, the Bielsa Queens goalkeeper. She makes a return into the team. You got Tamini Nuadeshi now. She was part of the under-17 side that finished third place at the World Cup. She finally gets a call up into the team. And then you also got Chinaza Ago, Delta Queens forward, has been again overlooked as of late. She was the best player in the NWFL last season, so kind of strange that she hasn't been getting those consistent call ups but now she gets it hopefully she makes a uh, good of it now another thing about the list was a player that was not on the list and that was Okwemi Ajakae of FC Robo don't know the reason why she didn't make the team she did play for his club side this Wednesday so it couldn't have been an injury hopefully it's not an injury but don't really know why she didn't make the team. She's not on the team. But I do feel we have enough to make up for her absence going into this competition. Now, moving on, and last but not least, we're going to be talking about the Super Falcons. And, of course, the team has their Olympic qualification matchup against Cameroon coming up. The first leg of their double-headed tie will be played in just days away. And as you may or may not know, the Falcons, the Super Falcons, defeated Ethiopia in the previous round of qualifiers. First leg ended in a one-all draw in Ethiopia. 
second leg 4-0 in Abuja 5-1 on the aggregate we moved on and that set up this big time matchup against the indomitable lionesses of Cameroon first leg will be played this month Friday the 23rd and the second leg three days away on Monday the 26th of February now speaking of the matches the names of players selected to represent the Super Falcons in these matches was released this morning now the coaching situation I believe has been settled Randy Waldrum the head coach of the team for the foreseeable future so I believe he invited these players 21 players were invited, 3 goalkeepers, 6 defenders, 6 midfielders, and 6 forwards. As we go through the list right here, you got the goalkeepers, Chiamaka Nado, Zay of Paris FC, of course. Tochuku Aloyi, based in Saudi Arabia, second choice goalkeeper for a while now. You got Linda Jiwaku, and funny enough, the Bielsa Queens goalkeeper was also on the under-20 list. Um, she was selected for the African Games. So I don't know how that's going to work out because you got these games coming up and the team is preparing for the African games. So I don't know how that's going to work out. Ashley Plumter returns to the side. Akudo Bona kept the spot in the side. Michelle Loze another return. Of course, she's in offseason right now. But the coach still believes in her to call her up. You got Osinacho Hale based in Mexico. And uh, I believe that season is going on right now. So she gets the call up. Rofia Di Moran, the uh, Rams, uh, ran, um fullback or slash forward. She really plays forward for Ram. And you got a uh, club teammate, Tosi Demahi. Halimatu Ayende and Christy Uchebe make their return after injury. Not injury. I believe Ali Matuayin days was injury. Christy Uchebe was travel issues. Hopefully that has been fixed by now. Of course, Jennifer Echegini, who's been taking the Italian league by storm with Juventus. She gets the call up. Deborah Biodun, a USA based player, another player that's currently in offseason. So that's another player the coach is keeping faith in. Rashid Atajiba de Atletico Madrid midfielder. And you also got Tony Payne, another player based in Spain. Sevilla midfielder slash defender slash forward also. Anything but goalkeeper. Then you got the forwards. Asisar Oshuala, Bay FC forward. Recently moved from Barcelona. Uchain Akanu also based in the USA. Um, then you got Monday Gifts, a Spanish based player, along with her club teammate Rinsola Babajide, Ifama Numonu, based in the US, Esto Kronko, apparently based in China right now. But, anyways, let me know if you guys want me to go in depth with the players in the squad. I can't make a breakdown video, but you have to let me know in the comment section. Apart from that, please make sure to like this video, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.